Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Cunningham, and today we're going to be looking at uh, some force and momentum examples in preparation for your quiz. So, let's get started. So remember we've talked about force, um, and we talked about two equations that we could use for force problems. And that was F equals MA, which is force is equal to mass times acceleration, and W equals MG, where W is equal to the your weight, uh, your M is your mass, and G is your acceleration due to gravity. Now, I talked about in class how these equations are the same. So you can see how force and weight is measured in newtons. Mass, or the M in the equation, is measured in kilograms. And then we have our acceleration that can be measured uh, in meters per second squared. So F equals MA is an, is an equation that we can use for all force problems. Now, w, equal M, w equals mg is for all gravity problems. So whenever you're talking about something falling, uh, we're going to use W equals mg. Whenever we're talking about an object being pushed or pulled by something or someone, uh, we'll use F equals ma. But those two equations really can both be used um, in either case. So let's look at one. So our first example, um, we've got a man pushing... Uh, a box, and the question is asking us, what is the force that's exerted by the man? So, he's pushing a 10 kilogram box, and it has an acceleration of 4.5 meters per second squared. So, because of that, we're going to use the equation F equals MA. Now, that's the first thing you're going to need to do in these types of problems. You need to figure out what equation you're going to use. So, the way you can know that is by the units you're given, um, on 4.5, it says meters per second squared. That's an acceleration. That's a unit of acceleration. Uh, the 10 kilograms is a mass, and we have a hint in the problem because it says, what is the force? So, we have 10 kilograms. We have 4.5 meters per second. So let's set up um, kind of the work in our given information. So we do not know the force. We know the mass of the box is 10 kilograms, and we know the acceleration is 4.5 meters per second squared. Now usually in these problems we need to rearrange the equation first, but as you can see we already have our equation solved for F, so we don't need to rearrange anything. By rearrange I mean we don't need to divide both sides by M to get rid of the M and have A. We already have it solved for F, which means all we need to do is plug in our 10 kilograms for the mass, plug in our 4.5 meters per second squared for the acceleration, and then multiply. So we plug those numbers in, we multiply, and we get an answer of 45 newtons. So we need to make sure that we get the newtons because that is a unit of force. Kilograms times meters per second squared is the same thing as newtons, so that's our answer. So that's an, a, an example of how to do a force problem. Let's take a look at a momentum problem. So here we've got uh, a cute little kitty uh, falling and it, the question asked us, what is the kitty's mass? So we know that if something is falling, and in this problem we're going to assume that it's falling on Earth because it has an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, we know its force, we know the force that exerted, that's exerted is 735 newtons. So we can use F equals MA or W equals MG, but... Because this is a gravity problem, we're just going to go ahead and use the W equals mg. So, we know our, our known information is our acceleration and our force. So, we can set up our problem. Here's our given information. We know its weight, 735 newtons. We don't know the mass. That's what the question asked us. And we know the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. So, we've got W equals mg. Now, Remember, once you've figured out what equation you're going to use, you need to look at it, and now you need to solve for m, because m is the variable that we don't know. So in order to solve for m, we need to divide both sides by g. That will allow us to cancel out the g's on the right side, which will give us the equation w, or the weight, divided by the gravity is equal to our mass. So now we can plug in our numbers for w and for g, that gives us 35 divided by 735 newtons divided by 9.8 meters per second squared, and that gives us 75 
kilograms. So that would be our answer. That would be our mass, 75 kilograms. So that's kind of an example of how to do a weight problem, or W equals mg. So now we're going to look at how to do a momentum problem. Remember, the definition of momentum is the quantity of motion of an object. So in this equation, we've got P equals mv. P stands for the momentum, m stands for the mass, and velocity is v. So we measure the mass in kilograms, velocity in meters per second, and momentum is in kilogram meters per second. So let's look at a, an example of these types of problems. So here's our example. Okay, so we've got uh, Fred and Barney. Um, they're driving their car, which weighs 1,000 kilograms, and their velocity is 25 meters per second. So our question says, what is the momentum of the car? Now, how we can figure out what equation to use is look at what it's asking us. It asks us for the momentum, so that should be a hint. Hey, we need to use P equals mv because that's the momentum equation. Or we can look at the numbers it gives us. Notice that in our last two examples, the units um, for our speed or our acceleration was in meters per second squared. Notice how this one is only 25 meters per second. There's no squared, which means it has to be of a, velo a velocity. So that's another hint that we're going to use P equals mv, or momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So that's the equation we need to use. So here uh, is the given information that we, get, we have. We don't know the momentum. It asked us to find the momentum. Now we have the mass, which was... Uh, 25, or the, sorry, we have the velocity, which is 25 meters per second. We have the mass, which was um, 25 kilograms. So we plug in those numbers for the mass and the velocity. So we get 1,000 kilograms, which was the mass, multiplied by, by our velocity, which was 25 meters per second. So that gives us 2,500 kilogram meters per second. So that is the velocity, or sorry, that is the momentum of the car. That is the quantity of motion of that car. Now these are the types of problems that you're going to see on your quiz. So use this video uh, so that you can study and uh, understand how to do these problems. Um, thank you for listening.